Hey guys, welcome to another video, We're doing another Kaldheim draft, and super super excited, our last one turned out really really well, it got to 7 wins, uh, and uh, yeah, the deck felt really really good, so um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm going to go ahead and get us started here while that's going on, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, uh, and you can watch more and more of my content. Uh, after a few more of these, we'll do some draft, uh, sorry, not, a uh, draft content, uh, deck techs for some call time decks. Ooh! Um, and, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Kazmi Ka Kaz Kazima here? Jesus. Uh, this card's pretty good. Just seems great. The vehicle also seems really good. Yeah. It it's, it's just good. <laughs> Ooh. Um. All right. So here we can take Bind the Monster, or we can take Snow Covered Island, or we can take some other cards that uh, I'm thinking of. Ooh, actually, uh, Valkyrie seems really good here, but Blue White's not a very good color combination. I'm told. I'm led to believe. Ooh, this actually seems kind of good. We take Zombie Berserker, Dogged Pursuit. None of these seem great. Yeah, I think this is actually the most powerful card. <clears throat> Alright, so here's a flyer. We also have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Let's see, Harbinger or Hawk. Or Kinseeker. I actually think Harbinger might be better right now. Again, I think I found that unless you have Snow, this Synergies, this card isn't really worth it. So I'm leaning more towards the Harbinger here. Um, <clears throat> actually, Demon Bolt might be the card, actually. This card's very good. Yeah, I'm actually going to take Demon Bolt. I love me some bolts. Um... Ooh, miss. It could be blue red if you want. Um, what is this? It's the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipments. Yeah, no. Uh, that card is crazy. I think I'm just gonna take the Mrs. Lit Lit Litjara. Litjara. Interesting. Um, uh, this Firewalker is like fine. Like I, I, uh, you know, again, like I, I think removal. Is a little better. Um, okay. So we got Craven Hulk. If we want to be blue red, which I think we do, over this bound in gold. Um, like this card's fine, but like this is a four four. <laughs> this is a four four. It beats out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be blue red here. Are we gonna try to be blue red? Hey, there's another demon bolt. Wow, that's insane. That's kind of crazy. I feel like that should not be happening. This is pick six. We'll snatch it up. Um, there was the um, the unblockable snow guy, or whatever. Um, but yeah, so far this looks really good. Like we have we have kind of all good cards here. We we picked one card that that you know wasn't in our colors, or that that's not probably going to end up in our deck because it's not in our colors. Um, but we have a bunch, of, like, all cards that are going to end up in our deck so far. Um, so this is the rune that gives haste. Oh, there's a snow-covered mountain. That actually might be better. Hoggy mob. Destroys a land. That might be a card. Enters, draws a card, gets haste. Uh, I don't know about this card. I really don't know. I'll try it out. Oh, we'll try it out. The I'll try out the rune. Let's experiment a little bit here. So we got the thief. We have a harbinger, or we have another mists. I think the mist is not as good here. I think I want to. I'm going to talk about a target player's library, you put that into the graveyard. Oh, or Raider. 
I actually want Raider. This is much better. Okay. Alright, so, so that was pretty good because we got two kind of cheap cards. Our deck was looking pretty expansive before. Whoa, that's an expensive card. <laughs> uh, we have Runamok, which is a combat trick. This card seems bad. Um, this is a giant. If we end up with giant synergies, we are in the colors actually for giant synergies. So the question is, how good is Runamok? I think right now Runamok is better than this giant. Like, this giant is 7 mana. It is kind of a, a, a top end, but oh, well, too late. <laughs> I was actually thinking of maybe taking the giant. Alright, I'm just going to take the snow covered island. The, the wings are meh. Wings are, are, are not needed right now. And if we end up with snow stuff, this is going to be great. <clears throat> so, yeah, the only card that I'm like kind of like not into playing right now is maybe Runamok. I'll put that in the side. Um. Is it the snow covered island or this harbinger? I have two demon bolts, so actually, I think I want to take the harbinger. I have two cards that have foretell. Oh. Hello, treachery. I want to put that on the sideboard as well. Um, again, it's something that I'm. Um, this deck might not end up wanting to play. Put this in the sideboard for now as well. Alright, I'm going to take this. Because, um, yeah, both of these cards are like cards that are good fillers or fine if your deck wants to play them. Okay, here's the Yeti. That was what I was thinking of. Is this a giant? Oh no, it's a Yeti. Maybe a Yeti. Yeti creature type. I didn't know that. Is this the first Yeti? Oh, whoa. That's insane. Removal, but like also a good card for Constructed. Oh, but there's Agar. But no, we gotta take this. Is that a Mythic? Why is this card a Mythic? Oh, hello, other rare. Also a Mythic? We just got past... We have three rares in our deck that are in our colors. Uh, I don't think we have enough snow for this, unfortunately. At the moment, we can just like start jamming snowlands. But I guess I kind of didn't think about. Nah, you know what? Like, like, like this is this is what I'm saying is like this is like early in the format, and I'm kind of down to just nab rares. But uh, oh, we have squash for giants. We got some giants, right? We have we have one giant. We have one giant. Maybe not that card. Uh, this card. Yes. Or, wait, 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 Craven Hulk. Which is a giant. If we wheel this, it's great. Or do we take this first? I don't know. I think just having a 4-4 four four is great, but also flyers. You know what? I'm actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to take the Raven. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> so it's a little bit good deck, even though like we kind of took to kind of not. Actually, this is not a non-pick. We'll actually probably play this, but we might not play this because this card is hard to make work if we don't have enough snow. There's a snow swamp. There's a run ashore. Um, or we could take this, which can work because we have a giant or two. Or behold the multiverse. Or this. Hmm. <laughs> um, I don't think this is really what I want. Um, oh boy, I gotta, I gotta select something. I think I'll just take depart, depart the realm. Ooh, there's a snow-covered mountain. That might be the pick here. Yeah, I'm actually going to take the snow-covered mountain. 
So like that's really good because again, we can play this for the Yeti, um, and then if we get enough, we could like end up playing the Ascendant Spirit. This is only pack, um, pack two actually. Now that I might add, okay, this card I'm pretty sure I know is good. Very powerful. It's a changeling, so it is a giant, uh, and um, it's a flyer that can get big. Seems great. <laughs> yeah, card has a lot of things going for it. Human wizard. Enters battlefield. If dies, draw three cards. If three more creatures died this turn. Holy moly, that's a lot of work. Um, but it is a the only card in our colors that's not run amok. <laughs> so there we go. It's also a human wizard, but I don't think we really care about any of those uh, card types. Okay, we don't care about that. We have Ooh, we have the boat. We have a zombie rogue. Or we have another uh, berserker. What do I want to do here? Play the raider. This doesn't seem like what I want to do. Actually, never mind. It is what I want to do. There we have. We have so much like two mana cards here. Ooh. Snow creature, but I don't think we have enough snow. I'm glad I passed it for. Now we got a raider. A second raider, so we have, uh, two and two. Alright, when in doubt, Ice Bind Pillar. Uh, I still don't think we have enough for that. Ooh. Alright, there's our Craven Hulk. Um, I don't think we have enough for this. Like, we have two. We have two Snowlands. If we can pick up some Snowlands in the last pack, this will be good. Yeah, so like this is not great right now. We need so much snow for this. I'm gonna put this in our sideboard. Um, so this deck is not as, you know, insane as like the last deck. Um, it's not as flashy, but it's got a lot of removal. Like we have our demon bolts, um, Grab run ashore here, uh, and we have uh, you know like some good some good middle of the pack uh, cards here. I don't know. I don't care about any of these. Um, and like our our mists, ooh, another harbinger. Of course, ice puller, and uh, we have some rares. Okay. I'm not actually sure if that's the pick. We have a snow covered plains. We have another Hulk. Maybe this is the pick. Just kind of more rare drafting. Who played Disdainful Stroke? The Craven Hulk. Nah. R rare drafting. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to play that, but we'll see. Alright, all snow covered planes right now. Okay, there's Frostbite. Frostbite is probably the pick. Oh, there's another rare. But I don't think I'm taking this rare over the Frostbite. We have a uh, Undersea Invader, which is. Oh, I didn't realize this is a rogue as well. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of cool that there's two. Um... Oh, that's why it is Flash. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to nab Frostbite here. Ice Tunnel for another Snowland. There's Mystic Reflection as a rare, but nah. Uh, I actually think I want to take the Ice Tunnel here for another Snowland. Um, like, otherwise we'd be taking like Dwarven Reinforcements or Seize the Spoils or like a har another Harbinger. So yeah, I'm just going to nab the Snowland. Yeah, we're in that weird stage where like we do kind of desperately want snow lands. Oh, hello, fire. Um, so there's a snow covered swamp. There's squash. Squash has kind of gone up for me since we have two Craven Hulks. Um, and actually now we have this Nexus, uh, and also the Mistwalker, which is a giant. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I'd be taking the Raven here. 
Um, what is this? Oh no, dwarf rogue. Yeah, let's just take squash. Squash it up. So here's a rune of flight. That seems pretty good. Or this fearless liberator, which is just a good card. I think I actually just want to take this. Like this is fine. This is evasion, but like. I think I need some dudes. Some dudes that can win. Oh, there's a forest or the snow forest. There's another Craven Hulk. That might be what I take here. Change language enters, choose a creature. Whenever another creature enters under your control, that is that creature type. I could actually play with that. Or I could just take more Craven Hulk. Or I could take this. No, I think I'm just going to take the Craven Hulk. Um, and get my beats on. Dwarf Berserker. The treachery card. I don't think I want any of these. I mean, like... Mm, I could maybe play this since I have two Harbingers. Or I could take the Snow-Covered Forest. And try and have more snow. I'm actually going to take the Snow-Covered Forest. Um, ooh, what is this? Two damage to each creature. Or this dude. Or another snow land. I actually don't think I need this. I think say one more snow lands. I'm just gonna take literally every single snow land unless I see a card that's like good. Yep, snow land. Up, <laughs> oh, snow land. Nah, actually undersea invader is actually really good here. It's a blue card, it's like a top end that is a giant. Um Okay, there's a Harbinger. I think that's fine. Dwarf or a giant. Or this dude. That's actually Vault Robber is actually not bad. Uh it's like a fine common. Okay. More snow land. No. No. Alright, it's fine. Uh, I, I figured I wouldn't be getting too many at the end. Um, so we have some, some a decent amount, but still not enough to play Ascendant Spirit. Like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Hmm? You know, I could try it out. <laughs> it could be really bad. You know what? We're going to do it. Um... We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna meme it up. Uh, da, 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 what are these? Do I not want? Where do I want all of these? Oh, I think this card's bad. This card's bad. Uh, do I want this maskwood nexus? You know, this would have been a good combo with that ar common art of er, the artifact that I saw. Um, I just think run ashore is fine. I think these are fine. I think I don't want three Harbingers. I think I just want two. I think this card can go. Giant Coward. Wait, it's a Coward! That means uh, what is it? the card in Standard affects it. That's really funny. Um, Alright, let's get rid of the part the realm. The card's meh. Um... Rune of Speed. Do I want a Rune of Speed now? How many creatures I got? I think I'm getting rid of Rune of Speed. Sorry, Rune of Speed. Sorry, bud. Um, I could get rid of Run Ashore here. I think Run Ashore might actually just be bad, because I have Squash, Demon Bolt, Mists, um, and even Ice Pillar, Frostbite. I'm sorry, also Fumarole. Or I could get rid of one of these. No, I think we can get rid of Run Ashore. And then just jamming in all of my uh, Snowlands. Booyah. Um, alright. And letting... I think it worked for me, yeah. Um, 
And also, we don't have any double red or uh, double blue in other than Sea Invader and from Roll. So, like, adding these, though, the snow covered plains and the snow covered forest, it's not a big deal. And again, we need them for Ice Pillar. Um, we need them for um, Yeti. Yeah, and for Frostbite. So, it's, it's really, really necessary. Oh, don't forget. Ascended Spirit. If I ever activate this for more than just like the first one, I'm going to be very impressed. Um, I'm going to be very surprised. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this works. <laughs> Whatever. And if we ever get the four, oh my goodness! I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna make the video. All right. Uh, yeah. This is what we're running. Um, is it the best deck I've ever drafted? No. Is it a good deck? I would say yes. Um, again, every single... I, I just keep on picking Ice pil Pillar just because it's so good. I, I hope I draw it more. This, is, uh, this time we only have one in our deck. Last time we had two in our deck. But, alright, let's go ahead and get into the games. Alright, here we are for our first game, and ironically, I'm going to keep this because we have Frostbite for removal and Ravenhulk. Uh, any card we draw, we have like both of our colors, plus, you know, kind of a, a mass, no land. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna not, uh, if they play a creature here, I might murder it in response. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I just want to use my mana because if I top deck a two drop here. All right. Well, that's not great. Also, we're drawing all of our snow lands. Uh, I'm actually gonna play them. Because again, yeah, we have no color requirements, no hard color requirements. Screw six. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just play the Craven Hulk here, right? We can't block alone. So actually, if they play another 3-drop... Eh, you know what, that's fine. Hmm. Ouch. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, you can foretell during your turn at instant speed. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the another Craven Hulk here, and now I think I can. Oh, man, they have two. Hmm. I think I'm gonna double block the Bogart here because it's really impossible. Uh, if they have something that gives like, okay, that's fine. Well, I'm glad I double blocked. All right. Um, I actually have already double blue. I don't have double red, so I could play this or I could play both of these. I think I should play both of these. I'm gonna play this first and loot. Oh, hello. Um, I think I'm just playing Yeti here. This is, yeah, I'm just pl pl gonna play the Yeti here. I'm not even sure how I want to play this. Uh, I'm in a weird situation. So we've taken a lot of damage here, um, and our opponent's got this going, and I'm, oh, actually they don't have it going anymore now that I think about it. That was uh, probably something I should have considered. What does this do? It's exile a creature from a graveyard, put two counters on target creature. Okay. I 
think I should just flash this in. Um, I think I'm just attacking with the raider here to hold back the plow. If they attack me with the 5-5, five five, I'll just probably just chump with the yeti and then play this. Because I, I gotta I gotta start preserving my life total here. Can't start... Uh, well, they have another creature, so it cannot be a 7-7. Seven seven. Alright, that's fine. So they have something they can play here. I assume that it's an instant, the instant they have foretelled. Oh no, just revitalize, okay. So I can actually play Kazuma here, which I think I do, and then foretell the Augury Raven. Um, uh, yeah. And then next turn, I can play the land, or, or exile Cos Cosma here. I think I am just jamming here. Maybe I'll leave the Yeti back. Yeah, I'm actually going to leave the Yeti back. I'm going to leave both of these back, because depending on what they attack with, I'll block with the Raider, or I'll block with the Yeti if they, if they attack with the Plow. Do you have something? Uh, oh boy! Must be blocked this turn of Able. Okay. Well, I was going to block anyways. <laughs> oh, it gets trample. Oh boy. Well, I will double block. Do you have even more pump? All right. Oh. Yep. Probably should have just blocked. Um, I'm actually going to take this action. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take this action. Bring it back. Wait, what? How does this work? Oh. Okay. That's not great. Um. If you don't return it. Okay. So, I next turn I have to play another land. Yeah. I will block both, because I kind of have to. Sure. Sure. Okay. Um, so I can do this. Um... I guess I might as well foretell here. Oh no, why did it tap like that? Why did you tap like that? You are the worst, Arena. You're the worst! You're the worst! Artifact. Oh, he gets back the plow? Oh my god, it's crazy. Wait. He didn't do it though. Alright, well, I have to double block here. I have to block everything. Yeah. Uh. So I can demon bolt this. And then just, I have to keep, I have to keep on blocking this. Oh, actually, this counts as a giant, so I can, uh, if they attack... Yep. 
Do not. And I can squash it. Oh wait, it has trample! It has trample! Why does it have trample? Holy moly. They just had way too large creatures for us to deal with. I think that was just a bad matchup, but also they just got the vehicle, the plow, whatever, working so quickly. Also, it was just a bad hand to keep for what our opponent had. But holy moly, they had so much trample and so many combat tricks. I hate, I hate combat tricks. I hate people who play combat tricks. <laughs> Um, yeah, we also misplayed with the, um, with Arena. Oh my god, Arena Tapper was so bad. I don't know if it's different with Snowlands. Um, okay, actually we have Cosmo here with, uh, via the vehicle side. Maybe the vehicle side is just better. Um, <laughs> it might actually be, and I'm just bad. Um, uh, so you may play lands from among them? Yeah. Okay, so we played this on turn two, we played, like, Vault, Robber. Uh, I'm gonna play the island first, cause I'm smart. I can play Mistwalker. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, maybe this is just a better. Oh, you know what? That's why you play. You play that, and then that helps fuel Cosmo. I I get it now. Hey, these are new cards, guys. You have removal. Nope. Okay. Give me your lands. Well, there were some good cards in there. Those are all fairly good cards. And we have Squash and Miss to remove stuff. <clears throat> I would like to mist that. Um, I think first I'm going to play Vault Robber. Screw it up. Just flash right, yeah. Just dragon. Egg on. Okay. Well, I'm glad I, uh... Glad I did that. Also, I'm now milled so I can exile this raven to make a treasure. So that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. Okay. Nice one, too, you got there. Not sure what our opponent's not doing here. Okay. So they tap down the bind. That's a weird play. Okay. Snow covered mountain. I think I'm just playing this and. Am I? I could actually just deal some damage here. Oh no, I have to play a creature to crew Omen Keel. But I think I'm just not looting. Where do I always loot? Uh, 
Also, this is a really bad play. You should have absolutely gotten the Mistwalker. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna just decline. But first, I'm gonna crew here. Um, I, they, I don't expect them to have a Snowland. Actually, no. This is actually more right because if they have a combat trick, um. I want to be able to squash in response. Looks like they do have a combat trick, actually. I would like to squash that. I would like to keep my omen keel on the battle hill, thank you. That's why you don't play combat tricks. Like, everyone saw me get whacked by uh, combat tricks in the last game, but in this game... Oh, hello. Um... Sure. Let's pay with snow. It doesn't really matter, but I can activate here. Hey, um, I'll just play the island. <laughs> All the lands. All of the lands. It's actually probably why I should have looted with, um, Raider, because I'm just going to get so much lands off this. All of the lands. And the... Okay, are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead, sir? Well, now you might be. Um, let's play this. Screw. Uh, no, it's not lethal. It's very close to lethal. All right, let's play that. Okay, they got a hawk. They have a thing that gives a death touch. Cool. It's just as fine, right? Yeah, we don't get to loot, but like, they're very dead. Whack. Overkill. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so our opponent there just not ready for Omen Kill. Alright. One win on the board. On the board. All right. Uh, so this hand is rough because we don't have red, but we can play a turn three Raven. But I don't think that's worth it. All right, this hand's better, and we'll play this. We'll say hello. Be nice. Hello, hello, sir. Uh, I'm gonna suspend Demon Bolt here. Yeah. Foretell. Everyone says suspend. Everyone's like been like duping it as as saying suspend. Um Alright, the boat. We get a boat. <gasps> nah, it's fine. We don't even have uh the needed uh colors. Or the the lands for it. We have one snow land right now. Um if they crew will demon bolt the boat. Which I expect them to do. Yep, that's a dude. Crew the boat. They do have a snow land, but I think this is more of a problem for me.
as weird as it sounds. Let's exit another creature card from your graveyard, so it doesn't work for- oh, so that's an artifact. <laughs> Um, snow land off the top. Snow land off the top. <laughs> it just it just becomes a two two three. It's not even. It's not even good. Glittering snow. Sure. You have a two drop. Oh no! They're just foretelling something. Squash. Um, I think I'm just smacking. Um, do I want to... No, because I think I, if they play something big here, I, like a 5-5, five five, and then it becomes a 6-6, six six, I want to be able to squash that, as opposed to... Um, yeah, the reading reading Ascendant Spirit, like, wait, what? <laughs> he has no Snowlands, though. He has one Snowland. Why is he playing this card? Good question. Good question, sir. <laughs> Don't don't take this card. Don't take this card early. Like I, I I'm I'm just memeing here. Okay, man, our opponent's got all the snow ants. Sure. Do I want to loot with this raider and get rid of this invader? That rhymed. That was kind of funny. Okay. <clears throat> I think the answer is... Oh, the answer is yes, actually, because now I can't even play Squash. Mm, that was bad. Yeah, because now I want to loot. Uh, this way. Ugh. We got an instant. You got an instant. He has an instant. Well, that's what appears to be. Sure, you have a one five. Where X is the number of snow lines you control. Yeah. All right. Give me treasure. <gasps> so stupid. Um, Alright, well, I think I'm just going to play Mistwalker here, because actually this is a giant now, so I can squash uh, if I feel like it. This is going to give me one, two, three, four. Four, five. I actually want to squash the priest. Uh, and we'll attack with the raider. Yeah, because that would have allowed him to remove the the mistwalker. Um, again, like I don't really care about the spirit. Uh, or any of my other creatures, but uh, the Mistwalker I do care about. Alright, there's a land, which is bad. Um, actually, I could just whack my opponent for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could whack them for a bunch. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play this. Go to combat. you got. Alright, I'm going to activate this once. I may just activate it twice. So I can uh, get a 2-3. Yeah, sure. It's a hefty removal spell for a 2-2. Two -two.
Okay. Dang it, he saw it. <laughs> Alright. It's a two three. <gasps> How did we do it? How did we do it, guys? How did we do it? How did we do it? How did how did we do it, guys? How did we do it? Um, so like he could still wreck us here, right, by like fighting the spirit with like something that gives it a counter, like the foretell card that gives it a... Okay, do you have two more damage? <laughs> How does he do it? How does he do it? How does he keep getting away with it? He can't keep getting away with it. That card should be awful. Like, there's no way that card should ever work. Ascended Spirit. Winning us the game. Top decking a snow land. To become a 4-4 flying. <laughs> oh man, the, the things that had to align. For, uh, for that to work and win. Oh my goodness. Alright, um, I'm gonna close up the video here. I'll finish up the rest of the games uh, in another video. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have. This has been a crazy couple of games. So we're currently 2-1. Uh, you know, again, we got some, some fun rares to play with here. Um, we have four rares in our deck, I'm just realizing. Holy crap, I, I, I like don't consider like the Nexus uh, a rare because it's like bad and also like I used Cosmina horribly the first game, so <laughs> um Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff uh if you enjoyed this content and want to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.